Look at me now, look at me now, oh I'm getting paid first, look at me now, oh Look at me now, yeah It was a fine day at Versailles. The date read May 5th, 1789. The second estate was furious at their King Louis XVI for raising the taxes and ordered him to call a meeting of the Estates General. King Louis, we ordered you to call a meeting of all three states. What a marvelous idea. Why did I not think of it sooner? All three estates were called to Versailles to approve the new tax. As usual, the first and second estates votes outnumbered the third estates vote. This vote yet again raised taxes on the third estate and they had to pay more money to the king. Here we have the first estate, second estate, and the third estate. All in favor of raising taxes? Being outvoted and raised the third estate, it made them furious. Therefore, Emmanuel Sias, a leading spokesperson, came up with an idea that the third estate should rename themselves the National Assembly and pass laws and reforms in the name of the French people. Three days later, the third estate arrived at their meeting room to find that the door was locked. They ran across the street to the tennis courts and refused to leave until they drew up a new constitution. We are not leaving this tennis court until a new constitution has been created! King Louis the Sixteenth is an awful leader, and he's a liar. Hey guys, what's going on? I was just uh, just got finished painting the meeting room. A month later, the peasants heard rumors that the king was going to kill them and burn their crops. <laughs> In reaction to this, they stormed the iconic Bastille prison to get gunpowder and weapons. To show everyone who was superior, they roamed the streets with the guards' heads on sticks. I'm feel good! Like a new the wood, yeah, 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 yeah. But still, the king and queen were oblivious about what was going on in their countryside. One event that caught their eye was the March of Versailles. Let's go get the queen! <laughs> What are you doing, my love? The women of France are trying to kill me! I don't care! You know this is the time I play with my locks and keys! Soon enough, the king slowly started losing his power. One major reason for this was a Jacobin named Jean-Paul Marat wrote editorials for the Ame du Pueble, or the Friend of the People. It was written about his feelings of who should die for supporting the king. After reading this, the National Convention reduced Louis XVI's power to only a citizen. Then, the Jacobins sent Louis to trial for treason, and they found him guilty. He was to be beheaded. Since there was no one in power, someone had to step up, and that person was Maximilien Robespierre. He disliked everything about France, therefore he changed everything. He made the calendar have no Sundays, closed every church in Paris, and much more. <laughs> in 1793, Robespierre became the leader of the Committee of Public Safety. During that time, Robespierre was to send enemies to trial in the morning, then behead them in the afternoon. He did this every day for one year, and executed about 5,000 people. The end came when the National Convention feared their own safety and sent Maximilian to the guillotine in 1794. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte, or as his friends called him, Napoleon, was a great leader in the eyes of most of the French people. He declared himself emperor, though the French people were okay with that. Surprisingly enough, Napoleon was made fun of when he was a child. Hey, look at me! I'm fat and I can't talk right! <laughs> Napoleon, you're a misfit! Oh! You 
you dirty dog! Rack! 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 Napoleon was a very good leader of France. He created the Napoleonic Code in which everyone was equal under the eyes of the law. He also signed a concordat with Pope Puy VII, where a new relationship was created between the church and the state. Napoleon fell from power just as quickly as he rose. He fought many wars in his life and won many of them. In 1813, Napoleon raised another army, but this one was very untrained. The Hundred Days War was a war that lasted 100 days and in which the French people and Napoleon won. The British took revenge when they shipped Napoleon to a remote island called St. Helena. He lived there for six years until he died from hunger. Don't get a break my face! Holy wiener! My name is Napoleon, and the British people shipped me to the die. Hello! As you can see, the French Revolution was a crazy time for the French people. From wars to guillotines and conquerors and Jacobins, though unimaginable, the French Revolution was a very important time in history.